This is going to be a very short tutorial on how to solve this cube because it's very easy to solve. Uh, it's very hard, hard to figure out by yourself, but very easy to solve once you know how to do it. Uh, the thing to know about this cube is that you turn it around the corners. And when I first felt this, I thought it was really weird. But, um, you turn around the corners. When you turn a corner, you change the orientation of this one that you turn. You move three corners around, and you also move t three centers around. And that's really the only thing you need to know when you're solving this puzzle. So, the first thing you want to do is pick a center to start with, kind of like Rubik's Cube, and preferably you should have a center with one of these corners already on it. Now since the centers move around, it doesn't matter whether this corner matches up to either of these other centers, it just matters that they match up to this one. And what you want to do, you kind of have to learn to do this intuitively, but you move the rest of these edges down into their rest of the corners down into their position. And there's a couple of algorithms I can get to help you with this. Um, it's important to remember. I screwed it up. It's important to remember that uh, this center or this corner is not in place because it's yellow against white and orange against red. And so you'd have to move it over here. Now, for beginners, we should try to do is just get it in the right spot, like so. And then once you're it's in the right spot, you can use... Here, let me try to fix it. Okay, that lighting's better. You can try to use an algorithm to make it better. And what the one I use here, I don't use really notation, but for swapping it counterclockwise, you can flip it up there, move this like that, then move it back, and move it back. Kind of like a commutator. And you can do the opposite for this one. Move it up like that, move it down, move it back, move it back. Or, you could also use the opposite of the one I just gave you, where you move that, move that, move that, move that. It really doesn't matter. But if I had to give these algorithms notation, I would do something like R L R prime L prime. I'm at a loss for any other way to notate it. So I guess we'll go with that notation for the rest of the video. Now what you want to do is put all of these other centers in place. And there are only really two good algorithms to do this with. There's one that I will say is uh, R L R prime L prime uh, Y L prime R prime L R which puts these at three uh, centers in the back in a different place. It'll move this one to here, this one to here, and this one to here. This one to here. Um, I remember that because what you're doing is you're messing up that corner right here and then fixing it again. And another algorithm that I find useful for this is uh, R prime L dang uh,
our L prime. And what it does is it swaps these two centers and these two centers. And so using that, you should just be able to really figure this out by yourself without too much difficulty. And if then just mess around with it. Okay, and now what you have to do, these uh, corners on the top will always be permuted correctly. You just have to orient them. And they will always be either in one of these positions or a pi position like you just saw. And what this algorithm that I'm about to give you it will solve it from this pi position. And so, if you get it in a position like this, where it's not a pi position, you set it up where none of these are in the correct position for where they would be in the pi or algorithm. Do the get the algorithm. And then you'll have a pi situation. And the algorithm is the one that swapped these two centers and these two centers times two. So that's r prime l r l prime times two. And the cube is done.